Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. You'll have to forgive my rootin', tootin', shootin' fellow comrades. There's a little bit of gunfire in the background because my fellow countrymen are getting ready for hunting season. So they're practicing the gear, <laughs> practicing the targets. Anywho, figured I'd do an update that I've been promising for quite a while and a little update of what is about to happen with my life. First of all, uh, we had those two animals that I, I saved, the, uh, the little birdie that fell out of the nest, and of course the cat. Everybody keeps asking about the kid, the little kitty cat with the broken uh, front leg. I got the update on that, and uh, I'm about to hit the road, actually, well, hit the, hit the wings. I've got uh, five flights on three different airlines booked, and I'm leaving shortly. I've been uh, slowly getting my RV ready for winter and caulking things, replacing roof fence and, you know, the typical stuff that must get done because uh, you can't really do it in the, in the rainy season. So let's get to the updates and I'll give you a little tip on one of the first stops because I'm, I'm, coming to, I'm coming to your city, <laughs> gonna sing you a country song. <laughs> My apologies to Big and Rich. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the little birdie. Uh, what was that, a couple months ago, I believe in July, the, the little bird that fell out of the nest and I fed it at night and we turned it over to an animal rescue sanctuary and um, it, it actually was good news bad news I guess just like the cat I guess when I get to that story um, the good news was the little bird made it but it had a broken neck and I guess by some fortuitous luck while I guess we had it over it was it was in the, it was in a growing stage because it was a, a baby well it, it had a broken neck that they discovered from a um, x-ray but it had fused enough that the damn little bugger, he made it. And uh, <laughs> I got a picture of him right here. He's doing fine. And of course, he'll be released to the wild because he is a wild bird after all. So uh, lucky, lucky bird that uh, nothing bad happened to him because um, you know, falling out of a nest, that usually means the end for most birds. So getting to the kitty cat with the uh, front broken leg that crawled into uh, the camp, well, he, uh, actually, uh, was it, she, it was a she, yeah, pardon me, it was a she. Um, she was turned over to a local vet for an inspection before being turned over to an animal rescue uh, group. And it turned out that the front leg wasn't actually broken. Because uh, I was wondering why the cat was in such good spirits, in spite of dragging the the actual front leg. So it was uh, it was injured and uh, quite swollen. And the ladies that work at the local veterinarian clinic, they fell in love with the little kitty, and they've uh, they're all fighting over each other to to raise it. Uh, as a foster parent until such time as it can be adopted. So the, the cat wound up doing just fine and uh, happy story for both the cat and the bird. Thank goodness. So sometimes, uh, sometimes the animals get lucky, right? So it's a good story. As for me, I am um, busy getting ready. There's always a million things to do and you know and when you're flying uh, many places with many different airlines uh, I do carry on only because I can't risk my crap disappearing so I've got to buy all those little travel size stuff and you know the logistics of booking things and uh, what not. Uh, it's it's always a headache. You know, I like travel. I like being at places. You know, if you said, Andrew, can you meet me in Rome in 20 minutes? I'd go, I'm there. I'll meet you in Rome and I will do as a Roman. <laughs> it, it, it's the getting to places that becomes a pain in the ass. The being in places, hell, I'd love to be in Buenos Aires right now, for God's sake. You know, being places is fun. It's the getting there is a grind because, you know, the, the panache uh, of, um, of travel has really decreased over the years. People don't uh, behave well anymore. The, the staff and the travelers all act like idiots at times. And people are drunk, people with mental illness. Look, we all see those YouTube videos of people acting badly. 
you know, between that and the lineups and the delays. But hey, I got uh, a personality that just rolls with. I've I've traveled, I've flown hundreds of times in my life, so it's no big deal. I know what I'm getting into. It's not the end of the world. But I will be spending some time with some people that I have not seen in a while and doing a few things that I have not done before. And yeah, it's, it's that perfect time where, you know, the fall is a lot quieter. That's why I, I tend to do a lot of my trips in the fall because, uh, you know, prices are cheaper, less people mucking about, airports are less busy. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm hitting, hitting the air. <laughs> and... Uh, Coming to your city. Uh, as for uh, hints of where I'm going, I'm going many, many places. It's many thousands and thousands and thousands of kilometers. But uh, I will give a hint, <laughs> at least a, one of the spots I'll be at, because all the videos from here on in are pretty much going to be me on the road for the next while. So um, there won't be much yapping about the RV lifestyle. It'll be me yapping from various places. So. Um, I'll give you a little tip, um, especially for my French-speaking audience. L'inscrou un voyage au la belle Provence. <laughs> Je me souviens. <laughs> Those are big giveaways. But I will be uh, having to uh, parler vos français as best as I can, even though my French is often c'est terrible. But... Uh, Luckily, I do have a vocabulary of a few thousand French words and many phrases, so uh, I'm not uh, completely uh, unknown to the French language. I can, I can get by. Hey, I've gotten by before in French-speaking countries, so I don't think I'll have a problem. It's kind of more amusing, especially when the people I'm traveling with can't speak French, and then they look at me to do the translation, which is always fun. <laughs> so that is... Um, one of the hints of uh, where I shall be. Um, oh, we got a loose dog wandering around the forest here. It's very peculiar. Anywho, I figured uh, that would be the update. It's my last video until I'm hitting the road and I'm wishing you all well and I shall see you somewhere, somehow, on my travels. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground. Talk to you soon. Over and out.